All right, so you're looking right now at a 2005 Thomas Pusher from Montgomery County Schools. Has 166,000 miles on it. I mean, we have several of these. Um, there's one over there as well. Uh, let me give you the ins and outs of these buses. I mean, we get them. They all have really nice tires. I mean, you can kind of see where it said Montgomery on there. And like, Treadwear perspective, they're nice. Uh, these buses are good for conversions also, because if you look underneath, this is a, one of the more common questions. Hey, is there any rust? These buses are not rusty at all. I mean, there's a tiny bit of surface rust on the frame there. There's also a lot of room underneath of a pusher to put, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the, uh, like your gray water tank, etc. cetera. Um, these have Cat C7 inline uh, sixes. So they're, uh, there you go, there's your specs. These are nice. They have Allison uh, six-speed transmissions that are they're geared down to five, but if you take them to someone who has the tech for Allison transmissions, they can unlock the six. -speed. They just don't have the six gear unlocked because they don't want uh, school bus drivers driving really, really, really fast. That's your battery compartment. That, that slides out. But like I said, nice Goodyear tires. Very, very, very little rust. They're all the same. I mean, there's couple 2004s some 2005s and some 2006s i have the air disengaged on the doors so that i can uh, get up in them this one just arrived so it still needs to be cleaned up there's a little trash on the floor but you have uh 22 seats 11 on each side from this point at the seat back is just over 30 feet so it's bigger than most rvs you have a side door which is the emergency door you have two of those in the ceiling um, the motor is right underneath here so you're looking at a good sized bus they do make a one larger version of this uh, it's like a whatever 72 passenger or whatever it's the same as this one but beyond the back axle it keeps going another I don't know five feet so these from end to end are 35 feet long uh, eight feet wide nine feet tall these are all things you, you may want to know. Sorry, I'm having trouble doing this while I'm holding the uh, camera here. And when you turn them on, it takes a minute for everything to gear up. These dials will go around. And I apologize, this was a little dusty. This one did just come in. I'll get the guy to, my lock guy, to get this one cleaned up a little better on uh, Monday there. But, so this one has 166,000 miles. The battery's at 11 and a half volts. So, I wait until... All the stuff goes off. They fire right up. Lights go off. It goes through all of them, so don't let that scare you that the lights are gonna be whatever. It's just uh, a protocol. And then if you turn, turn the air, it closes the doors. You can also open and close the doors from the regular door button. That was, that was a lot of air saved up in there. That was a little violent. Um, but everything on these always works. I mean, they're in good shape. All the doors work, all, or I mean, all the uh, the lights and signals work, the doors work, the windows are all in good shape. So if you have any other questions about this or any of the other buses, please feel free to send me a message uh, on eBay. And uh, I can take any other pictures you might want. But like we have this one, that one, that's a project sprinter right there. I just parked around it because it doesn't start at the moment uh, they're all the same and, and they're in really good shape we have several other kinds of buses um, like this is a Freightliner Thomas handicapped accessible bus they're shorter um, nice buses as well and then I'll show you the last type this is a uh, Thomas Freightliner full-size bus so if you have any other questions please feel free to ask Otherwise, good luck and happy